Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am going to make my second kitchen chat video today while I make some noodles. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the pros and cons of, or not pros and cons, but like my favorite and least favorite things at Villanova just because I was inspired by a Reddit that I saw. Um, but first I'm going to, my fridge is open. But first, let me start making dinner. So today I'm making noodles because that's what I really wanna eat and the stuff that's going in it are just based on things that I really wanna eat. So let's go get some ingredients out of the fridge. All right, so first we're putting shrimp, garlic, Napa cabbage. My camera's currently propped up on a tripod on my rice cooker. Innovation at its finest. Two bunches of noodles into the water. This is a big, big boy garlic. All right, here we go. Um, in the interim, I uh, chopped all the Napa cabbage and it's now in the pan. I need oil. Oh. All right. Here I'm ready to talk about the school. Got Alyssa in the room with me. Um, also Elizabeth, but technically the whole times. thing is a room. <laughs> um. So I guess we'll go through like our fa Sorry. I guess we'll go through like our favorite. <laughs> I can see what I was doing, so it's even better. Yeah, we can go through like our favorite parts because that's always like better. Okay. Um. So I guess like my favorite part at Villanova is like how like the professors, oh, I forgot to pick that up, thank you. The professors like genuinely care about you, I feel like, like they like really want to get to know you. Here, are yeah, you? I like our small class sizes. Yeah, like, like that's just how I personally learn better, so. Like class sizes are mo most of the time capped at like 25, at least in the liberal arts classes. Mm -hmm. And then I've like had Spanish classes with like eight people in them. Um, but yeah, professors are like, yeah, you can go to their office hours and get to know them, but like they also like really get to know you in class because everything's like really discussion based. Um, other things I like about Villanova. I like its location in relation to Philly. Mm -hmm. It's like not in the middle of the city, but like we can get there. Yeah, I like that we have a campus, but then we can also go to Philly if we want to, and also the surrounding areas have a lot to do and are really nice. So. Um, what else? <laughs> much money for parking and yeah. we pay like 50 bucks. I remember bucks. my brother paid like 400 a semester. Yeah, we pay, we pay 50, 50 a semester. semester. Um, also not a ton of parking. Can but, you stop? You know, give and take I guess. I'm Why just gonna, I'm gonna, this, this is everything. my guy. This is the one I want. Try and bait whether we need more cabbage. What else do you like? I like the size of the campus, kind of. Everything it can sometimes feel a little small. It feels a little small sometimes. But, but it's I like, do like the fact that I can really push how long I wait to go to class and then just umi zoom me over. Oh yeah. When we were living in Austin, I'd like nap and roll out a class like three minutes before I needed to be at class and then I could get there on time. It can sometimes be a lot, but I do like the sense of school spirit that we have in terms of like sports, because my high school was very Yeah, that was one thing that like, I was really excited about coming to Nova. Yeah, so it's really cool to like feel like everyone is really in it with the sports. Um, I did like the sense of school, like, 
school pride and like go cats these up yeah nova nation um now i do it ironically but it's yeah. fine whatever um yeah i like the professors i like how cheap parking is i like how small we can't or not how small i like the size of the campus i like the proximity to the um to pennsylvania i'm done <laughs> I like the proximity to Philadelphia. Pennsylvania. But, and I also like, we have two different trains on campus. And usually people only know about the one, but there's one like SEPTA train that goes through like West Campus that's never on time. And it also costs an arm and a leg. And then there's another smaller one closer to South Campus that costs like 25 cents. Just kidding. Um, how much does it cost? Two bucks. Yeah, like two, two bucks. Two fifty. But other things I like. I mean, let me just go into the things I don't like because you can always find stuff that you like about Villanova online, but people never talk about why they don't like Villanova or like what they don't like and about Villanova. I would just like to say that it is not a bad thing to point out right. the things you don't like about your school. I think people are very like cautious. That's not what this is yeah. I know. People are very like hesitant to say that there are aspects of their school they don't like because it's like oh it's your college experience and you're supposed to be like living your best life but like it's okay to acknowledge that oh my god that that garlic is burnt it's good burnt garlic is good garlic not in this sense it's okay to acknowledge that your school is not perfect and that you don't totally love your school that's okay and also schools have flaws they are literally money they're just businesses so it's all right if you think your school is flawed um, I do too. So, so some things I don't like about Villanova, because this is probably the reason you're here. Um, Let's see. You, I'm sure you've already heard. Um, Vanilla Nova is a very real thing. Campus diversity is like a minimal here. I think we've gotten better in the past couple of years, but I think just generally campus diversity isn't that great. Um, we're lacking there are some statistics about um like why students of color are at, on campus and it's like for no other reason than athletics so i think like our diversity aspect on campus is lacking i don't think we know how to talk about diversity really that well we have like diversity requirements in our um required courses but we don't really like they're like diversity but like i don't think we know how to discuss it we don't really know how to discuss inclusion. We don't have a center for um, queer students or like the LGBT community on campus. Um, they're like still working on that and it's 2019, almost 2020. Um, I think we're lacking certain spaces that we should have. Wait, Alyssa, I had something. Can you talk about, talk to them about Villanova Nice while I cook some shrimp? So, there's a term, it's called Villanova Nice. And basically, the Villanova Nice is like the surface level kind of friendliness and niceness that you're gonna get from pretty much all Like when you go on Villanova tours, students. people are always like, oh, everyone opens doors for yeah, me. Yeah, or like, like everyone's yeah. gonna smile at you, everyone's gonna say hello to you when you're walking in like the halls of Bartley or like into Con. And like, sure, that might be true, but the thing about the Villanova Nice is that it doesn't go deeper than that. So we never, we never want to have conversations about diversity because we're afraid it's going to break this image that we have of like, oh my God, Villanova students are so we don't nice. Take risks. And there's yeah, it's it's a, it's dumb because we think that like talking about diversity is a risk taking thing, which it's like, it's not. It's twenty twenty. Yeah. I think it's also think everyone's just like, always like, oh, I um do community service that, and it's yeah. like i feel like people do community service once a year and then they qualify they do it as... for their resume or like there's just like the image of the typical villanova student that like is so involved in everything like the major um and like, organizations on campus like blue key and special olympics and all that and like that's fine but it's like, okay to be involved that's not a bad thing yeah but, but there's like i feel like people do it for the wrong reasons and like, you don't need to be involved in everything. That's not how your college yeah. career should be. You shouldn't like, have to be 
booked to the rim with everything that you're all these extracurriculars in order to feel like you fit in on campus. Twice a year we do day of service. And that's like not a bad thing. It's good yeah. to volunteer as a community, but it's like also good to understand why you're volunteering or like when they send us out to places that they consider at risk, but then they don't ever educate students on why these places are in this like in the circumstances that they are or like educate students on how to fix that beyond going to go put some mulch down for this at-risk school. Do we want to talk about mental health services? Yeah, we can talk about mental health services. Um, essentially non-existent at Villanova. I think um, they're just, it's, it once again I think goes with like not wanting to break the norm and like not wanting to take risks I guess. Because Villanova like not really wanting to doesn't... Be, not wanting to, to be like, not perfect. Villanova yeah. is very perfect, and all its students are very perfect. Yeah, and I think they think that acknowledging you, mental health... That was garbage. Can you relax? They think I know. They think that acknowledging mental health just, like, is like a stain on the image of the school, almost. And so, as a result, our counseling services are not that great. Oh, back to the people of color thing. When you go to Connolly, um, they have all these flags, and it's just like, they're like, oh, we represent all these like countries, but like, do we? Yeah, it's like, these are all the countries that are seen on campus, but like, are they seen? And then the other thing is like, we have these pictures in Connolly and you can tell that there's like a token Asian kid in there because like we have so few of them, but you got to put one there so that when people come to tour, you can see that there is one. All in all, it's okay to like, not like your school, but I like for Villanova how all my professors get to know me and how the school is relatively small. But at the same time, that's a con. I feel like when it's really small, I like, it's a lot of the same type of people and we lack diversity most of the time in like many different ways. Not just like racially diverse, but like diversity of thought and diversity of character. And so in that sense, we tend to have a lot of students who are like very similar. And then that type of similar is like that everyone does the same thing. And then you feel very pigeonholed into like doing these things that you don't normally do or like volunteering because that's like the cool thing to do. Imagine I put air quotes because I'm in the middle of scooping stuff and I can't air quote. Sorry, I feel like all my cook with us in the kitchen or cook with kitchen chat with me videos end up falling apart by the end because I'm like aggressively trying to cook. It's like that time that I tried to do um, a get ready with me and then I ended up almost late to my event and so then the end of my get ready with me got cut short and then I never posted it, but it is what it is. Maybe next kitchen chat will go like more successfully. But essentially, that was kind of my favorite and least favorite things about Villanova chat. My theology homework says it's like really easy to focus on the negatives in places than it is to focus on the positives. So like, even though I just spent God knows how many minutes um, bashing Villanova, there's like still good things about it. On that note, I'll show you my dinner and then I'm gonna go eat because it's 8.15 and I am starving. So here is my finished product. Um, there's less curry in it than I was hoping. This is the finished product. I did some shrimp, Napa cabbage, and some noodles. But that's all for now and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!